Can I do it? Can I beat that boss? We're going to find out today. All right. We can lead gain 10 shield from push immune until the start of your next turn. Not great. I think we just recharge. Nitro Kid rescued. Choose to either add a new infusion or recharge the current ones. We'll recharge. It only recharges them by one. That is good to know. Onward to the brain. Boss enemy. Four brains. They don't have much HP. I have to kill them all. Can't be pushed or pulled. On hit, targets gain two burn. On death, other enemies gain one strength and then double their strength. They're all going to do this. On damage taken, this enemy gains four shield. They're all going to do that too. So the only difference is on start of turn. On start of turn, heal. Hit. Gain two burn. On hit. Two bug cards are put into your discard pile. That might be the worst. Which one is that? That's this one. Attacks whenever a target plays an attack card or moves. That's actually a big problem too, because when the strength goes up, this thing becomes insane. Okay, so I think my priority is this one. Then this one. No, this one's on hit. So this one's not a high priority. That one could actually be last. Okay, so I think it's this one, this one, this one, this one. I think. And they can all hit me no matter where I am in the room, I believe. Doing double damage right off the bat, which isn't the best. Yeah, they all have hits on me. They all hit pretty weak to start. Ah, <sighs> double damage. I could just auto kill it using maximum effort solar plexus. Interesting to note that both of those hits got the double damage. I was not expecting that. Wish I could do something with that jab. Yeah, we killed one. End the turn. Take 12 damage. We burn. Right, I am going to get those stupid curse cards into my deck. What do they look like? They're in my discard pile. Butterfly consume. Butterfly plus. Okay. So this one is higher priority than I was thinking. Okay, let's rethink about this. The burn's a little bit bad. Burn adds up over time. You're least important now. I think you're most important, then the burn. Okay, at least this one's easy to get to. Meditate. I don't care much about meditate. A little bit. I care about killing this. Preparation. 
Oh, I don't have the redraw one, so yeah, with preparation here. Four block. Why do you have four block? On damage taken. Right. The metal jacket is good. Very free. Probably better to meditate than the block, but the block does get me closer to drawing another card. I guess they're about equivalent, except for that card draw and that this one consumes. So it would have been nice to consume this, but I'm happy with that. This one has a ton of block. Why do you have so much block? No, it doesn't. It does have more block than I would expect, though. Okay. This is a good turn. I have five energy. Gain more burn, which is scary, but I have square up. Month seven. I wish I had something that attacked diagonal as well. Draw another card. Carded strike. I have a power strike. Can't use that to move. No. Um, now it's actually have excessive damage. Stinger plus is pretty important. This already does enough to kill. So I want some jab pluses in my deck. Maybe. Plus they give me more shield. play that stinger plus. Okay, so now they're doing 16 damage. I have five burn on me, which hurts a bit. You're the priority, pink one. You give more burn. 48 damage. That's without even doubling it. Just let me advance. I purposely put these enemies so that they're not in line with each other, like, at all. Okay. Stoke the fire. I guess they are kind of in line, at least. Alright, look here. Good deal. Yeah. I should start using these titanium shields too, because I can only use it once per turn, and you get to keep the excess shield. It's a lot of burn. not doing too much damage since it gains four block each time I do damage. Yeah, I still have three energy. I can punch or I can shield shield and meditate. This only does two damage to it. I think block, block, meditate. And just hope for a big hit. Right, I get my butterflies now. Solar Plexus is a pretty big hit. There is a preparation. Step, there's square up.
all of my butterflies at once. Wonderful. Square up kill. Yes, double damage. Oops. Could have played that. Oh no, these ones don't even give me block. That's fine. There's only one card over here. I have a whole bunch of curses. This thing's hitting 16 damage. I have 9 burn. Our strike already does in advance. Into the sixth turn, we do 30 damage. Nice. Have a bunch of jab pluses. That should end this. Give myself some shield. Could use the energy, but that's fine. We ended it. We win. Victory! Congratulations, Agent, and thank you. No, thank you to the developers for sending me the demo key. This is a cool demo. Your triumph brings Cinder one step closer to taking down Infinity once and for all. If there's any interest in watching this game, this feels... I don't know if it feels better than Fights in Tight Spaces. It feels comparable. I think it would take a deck with more movement stuff, more like more of a control deck for it to feel better. But there are different decks, so that might be in the game. The enemies felt very tricky, which I like. Move to any free type by five burn to adjacent targets. Ooh. Comet Fall is a two cost, but this move to any free tile all on its own is really good. Apply five burn to adjacent targets. Also pretty good. It felt a little bit more claustrophobic. Thanks for playing. Wishlist Nitro Kid on Steam and follow us on social media. If you're interested, you should definitely wishlist the game. Check it out. I should take the survey. I will do that, but I'll do that off of video. Yeah, I will do that. What options do we have? Full screen, V-Sync, audio, the music. Hope it wasn't too loud. Music might have been a little bit loud. UI scaling is nice. Sound effects, I think we're good. Analytics is fine. Simple menu. Overall, really good game. If I hit start, these are still locked. That's probably just for the demo. Kind of curious. We're only at 13 minutes. I'm not planning on doing another run, I just wanted to look at the cards for it. Oh, I guess I didn't have to go in here to look at the cards. Okay. The difference in the cards are Flying Kick Plus. Were these upgraded in my other run? 12 damage, Fragile 2. Fragile increases the damage received. Twin Strike. 5 damage 2 times. This card's damage is lowered by 1 this combat. That's a pretty strong card. That's really strong. Um, find weak for a 0 cost. AoE, 10 damage. And it goes... So it does go down over the combat the more times you play it, but you only expect to play this, like, twice. Um, and because it's a multi-hit to all enemies, like, anything that increases your strength makes this very strong. This deck does not come with the plus three damage. Find weakness. Start your turn. Add one. Now, analyze card to your hand. That seems extremely strong with both Twin Strike, Palm Strike, and Shuriken. This seems good, except that it's a two cost. I'd like to see what its upgrade is. An upgraded full metal jacket is just amazing. Brace seems really good. This deck seems very strong. Stronger than the other one. Discombobulate plus. 8 damage, 3 fragile, 2 weak. 
That seems good, it's just expensive. There are a bunch of expensive cards in this deck. Three damage, two times, apply fragile. Yeah, that seems good. Okay, and options. Exit. I want to look at the one other deck. Did I just take the worst deck? Might have. Wait. No, I can't get out of here until I lose. That might be the case. New game. It would help if I hit new game. That results in a loss. That's okay. And I could edit the loadout. Interesting. So a lot of things are still locked. That makes sense for a demo. It saved three. Okay. I don't know how we figured out that there were three kids saved. Playing with fire. Comet fall? I just unlocked Comet fall. I feel like this is only in there because I unlocked that. That could be wrong. It is a burn thing and this is a burn deck. Whirl kick. Three damage. Chain applies seven burn. Chain. Chained effects are applied to all other targets adjacent to one another. That's kind of crazy because this hits everything in the four spaces around me, and then it also applies burn to all the others. That's a lot of burn. Penetrates through targets. Similar kind of thing. This attacks... How do you have a ranged one that attacks all around? Or is it just because of the penetrate that it shows this? And is it just because of the burn, that, or the chain that this shows it? I don't know that. Oil coat is good. Wildfire. Chain. Transfer the burn from all enemies to an enemy. Really good against an elite fight. One thing I'm curious about for this demo is if there's more than one boss, or if it's just that one Brain in the Jar boss. But, Brain in the Jar boss was really good. It does seem to be random which one of these you get, or which of these. I didn't pay attention for the two runs I did, if it's always the same, depending on the deck that you chose. All right, but yeah. For now, until they come out with the full release, or unless they add more to the demo. I think that does it for me with this game. Definitely going to be playing more of this, either on this channel or on my second channel, once the full game launches. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.